everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the amino acid GABA, GABA amino butyric acid. Now, what GABA is, we actually produce that on our own. It's amino acid. We break it down from proteins. GABA is very important to how the body and the brain works. Yes, it works in the cerebellum. Yes, it works in the cerebrum. But the main function of GABA is it's the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. Now, what's, what does inhibitory mean? Well, when you talk about the gas pedal and the brake, the gas pedal, things like glutamate, okay, that's excitatory. That basically puts the, that steps on the gas. GABA is inhibitory. That helps put the brakes on whatever systems that, that is working on. And GABA is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter of it. what I'm going to talk about particularly is the brain. Now, the thing is, how it balances out, we need GABA because the amino acid beforehand, it's called, well, you have gluta, glutamine, which breaks down to glutamate. Glutamate is very excitatory, okay? However, one thing is that as supplemental GABA, it does not cross the blood-brain barrier. So we have this nice cellophane wrap around the brain that stops and allows certain substances to cross it. But before I get into GABA, thanks for tuning into my channel. If you're new to it, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is a bell notification. If you're on Facebook, I appreciate always a growing, growing audience. Please hit the like button. And if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend because I always appreciate growing audience. Okay, so let's talk about GABA. GABA is very important as a calming agent. Okay, so what does it actually do on the body? It helps, again, it's the brake. It helps relieve anxiety, pain, treats ADHD or ADD. It helps burn fat, it helps stabilize blood sugar, okay? It helps with the libido, it helps with the pancreas, it makes your cells more insulin sensitive, okay? Because again, remember, the function of the body is not for go, go, go. What you're trying to do is stabilize the breaking system. And GABA is one of those neurotransmitters that allows us to do it. So how do we make it, okay? So not, I'm just gonna briefly go over this. So for, for, for the biochemistry people, I don't wanna see the comments down below about how, how many steps I missed. I know, okay? So when it comes to breaking it down, so again, it, it starts off with glycolysis, the splitting of sugars. It goes to glucose, it goes to pyruvate, that's outside the mitochondria. Then it comes into the mitochondria, again, to form the acetyl-CoA, and then it goes into the Krebs cycle, which spins a couple twice, and it shunts off different constituents and also adds on. So how it's all made is that, again, it goes into to the citric acid cycle, and it spins off for the alpha-ketoglutarate, okay? And we need the active form of B6, P5P, which helps break down glutamine to glutamate. And remember, glutamate, is an excitatory neurotransmitter. It helps with the attention span, it helps the learning, it helps with staying awake, it just helps us go. So then what happens is we need an enzyme called glutamate de uh, decarboxylase, GAD, and with the help of P5P and magnesium, which helps break down glutamate to GABA, okay? And what happens then in this area here, it's called the GABA shunt. So with GABA, the important mineral is zinc because zinc helps release the GABA from the receptor. So again, if you're zinc deficient, there's, zinc is phenomenal for, every, for many systems. It's good for even your immune system. So what happens then, GABA comes back into the citric acid cycle to do its job to, again, create an inhibitory effect. Now, the main thing is, it's a lot of systems are working together to make this happen. So in females, in the second half of their cycle, progesterone helps GABA get into the cell. This is why females in the second half of their cycle are more calm, or, and or pregnant females are more calm, because with progesterone, it helps that GABA get into the cell a lot faster and quicker. So then, what happens if you're deficient? What happens if you're, uh, if, if you're not taking the, night, the proper nutrition? What if you're not breaking things down? What if you're unable to convert your, your lack in GAD, that one enzyme that helps break down glutamate to GABA? This is where, again, you can get a blood test on this. This is where a lot of ataxia comes in because you're just not breaking down that glutamate to GABA to help calm down the system. 
Okay, and that's that you can find out with the blood work. So, Colin, let's go over here now. So, one of the, a couple constituents that you need. This is what I always recommend. Iron. We need iron part of the citric acid cycle to break down the constituents, but also too to help with the alpha ketoglutarate. So you need iron. You need B vitamins. In particular, B vitamins. The there's B6. However, I always recommend the broken down version, which is P5P. Magnesium, manganese, zinc. We need all these minerals and vitamins to help with the conversion. So note. Now, if you're going to take a supplement, think about supplementing GABA, because that sounds like a great idea. GABA does not cross the blood-brain barrier. However, because it's too large, if you're going to take a supplement GABA, the GABA itself is too large. It's not going to break, it's not going to bust through the blood-brain barrier. However, if it does, okay, I have some patients that say, yeah, I take GABA regularly, and it does help me calm down within a half an hour. Well, that's not good. That's not good. That basically means that cellophane wrap around the brain, called the blood-brain barrier, is somewhat penetrated or perforated. And again, that means that you have a leaky blood-brain barrier. That's why when you take it, it works. And that's not a good thing to have. Okay? However, I'm not going to poo-poo taking GABA as a supplement 100%. Because GABA, taking GABA as a supplement will help other systems. GABA is great for the adrenal system, it's great for adrenal glands, it's great for the pituitary gland, it's great for the pancreas, it's great for sexual function, okay? GABA as a supplement is phenomenal for inflammation, it's, it's great for oxidative stress. So I'm not poo-pooing taking GABA as a supplement, however, if you're looking for the benefits to calm down the brain to act as an inhibitory neurotransmitter, it's not going to work. Okay, but again, if you're going to take it, my recommended dosage is anywhere from 500 to 1,000 milligrams. It is amino acid. You want to take that in an empty stomach, preferably before bed. Now, again, other things to, to do. Always fix diet. Again, remember, it all breaks down to diet. If you have a poor diet, you're not going to absorb any of these nutrients. Valerian root extract is good. Passion flower extract is good. Taurine. Taurine is phenomenal to take because what it does. It helps increase the conversion of glutamate to GABA. It makes these cells more sensitive. L-thionine. Now, there's another amino acid called L-thionine. L-thionine, actually, I did another video on it. What that does, that inhibits glutamate. So, in turn, it helps with the conversion to increase GABA. Now, I've done a previous video on L-thionine, and again, the dosage for L-thionine is anywhere from two to 400 milligrams. P5P, which is a broken down version of vitamin B6, zinc, manganese, and there's also another product out there called Phenobut. What Phenobut does is the same thing as almost as L-thionine. It inhibits glutamate, so the conversion to the absorption of uh, uh, GABA has an increase, so it does give it a very nice calming effect. Okay, so GABA is a good supplement to take. However, if you're looking for the actual beneficial effects on the brain, you're missing the mark. However, it's still going to calm down the system as a whole. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you find this information valuable and you want to book an appointment, please hit the link down below. And again, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and share with a friend. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.